The diagram you see here gives you a lot of information about quadrilaterals, or four-sided figures. Not just the prop properties of different types of quadrilaterals, such as a trapezoid or a rhombus, but also the relationships to each other. One of the properties that we see is parallel, which is signified by these arrows. The arrows here and the arrows here being the same indicate that this and this line are parallel. Likewise, this line and this line are parallel. So a parallelogram has two sets, one, two sets of parallel sides. A rectangle has four congruent sides. That symbol might be a little hard to read, but it's a congruent symbol. So it's four congruent angles, I should say, and all four of those angles are right angles. A rhombus has four congruent sides. Each of them have the same mark, which shows that they're equal in measure. And the square has both of those things, 90 degree angles and congruent sides. I mentioned this diagram also shows relationships. It shows relationships in the following way. With these connecting lines, that's a relationship showing that it's a more specific version of the one above it. For example, a square is a more specific version of a rectangle. A rectangle has four congruent angles, and so does a square. Therefore, square meets the definition of rectangle. Square also meets the definition of a rhombus because it has one, two, three, four congruent sides. Therefore, a square is a rhombus and a square is a rectangle. Both a rectangle and a rhombus are types of parallelograms and all of those are quadrilaterals. On the other side, all trapezoids are quadrilaterals, but notice that it's not connected to parallelogram. Parallelograms and trapezoids are separate and we also see a specific type of trapezoid, namely an isosceles trapezoid, which has one set of parallel sides and one pair of congruent sides. So that's an isosceles trapezoid, which is a specific kind of trapezoid, which in turn is a quadrilateral. So please take a few minutes to look over the diagram to understand the different properties and you can use it to help you answer questions such as, is a rhombus a parallelogram? Or is a trapezoid a parallelogram? Remember that these lines indicate connection and always the shapes below are a more specific type of the ones connected above. All right, uh, just take some time with this and I think it'll be very helpful. Thank you.